<laughs> time now for, I'll never forget that. I have the cake ready to go. I, all right, time now for better living. Are you planning an Easter feast, buffet style, but don't really know how quite to get it done? Well, you're about to take a class with Nora Murphy of NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. Yeah, it's called Buffet 101. If you follow Nora's suggestions, setting up your buffet can be as easy as hard boiling an egg. Nora, we got a blank slate here. What a huge, big kitchen island. Well, sometimes it's a scary thing to look at a blank slate, but in this case, we've got a plan. We do have a plan, and yes. I, want to tell, I want to tell our audience what you did because I think it's very clever. Well, this is kind of like Holiday Buffet 101. It's prepping. And when you've got a lot of family and friends over, there's a lot of chaos and a lot of commotion. And to me, this is my de-stress plan. You get it figured out ahead of time, so when you're serving the food, you know exactly what's going in what um, container and where it's going to go. So you've actually set the table. Yes. Place everything where you want it. Yes. Then you drew this map based on where everything was. Yes. And now we're gonna recreate that. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, what an excellent idea. All right, right, let's do it. Let's get started. All right, so Nora, the first thing on the map is the plates. And we're gonna put these plates right here because that's exactly where it is on the map. Next thing I need is my ham plate. You got it. Okay, coming up is the ham plate. This is what everybody looks forward to is Rick's smoked hams. And those come right to you. Now what I've also um, done here is I have a little, a little bowl for mustard. And I also put stickies on everything so you know exactly what's going there. And Nora, in serving, you've created the, uh, the dynamic, the flow, so that by the end, when you're done serving yourself, working your way around, you're left with a beautiful plate. Absolutely, it's not a free-for-all, especially when you have a lot of people over, it's nice to create a traffic flow. So I start with, you know, pick up a plate, and now we start with our protein. And you'll see as we go along, I was very thoughtful in how people fill in their plates Terrific. to the very end. You'll see, you'll see my method to my madness. Following a plate for the smoked ham comes a plate for the smoked salmon Nora's going to serve. I start with the smoked things because that's always the big hit of any party. And this is Rick's smoked salmon will go here. And then I have um, kind of one of these pie servers that you'll see also is the same server for the quiche. It works great. That's right, the quiche plate is next, and here comes a big bowl for the potatoes. And these are um, Julia Child's mashed potato recipe, tried and true. And if you notice too, I have it as a deep bowl, yep. and I have a really big scooping spoon. Asparagus. Asparagus is, is short and sweet and easy. I have a smaller oval plate, and if you'll notice, everything is white from my pantry and it all works together. And uh, Easter eggs. Easter eggs. These are all hard boiled. So as people go around, help yourself to an Easter egg. Isn't which that is, great? Again, it starts to garnish your plate. Okay. This is kind of fun. This is like a pie plate in like a little, I don't know, a little relish or, or candy dish. Um, again, they have the wonderful undulating scallops. So what I do is I just stack them. So the shrimp will be on crushed ice here, which is a very simple big soup spoon. And then the cocktail sauce will go on top with a small, small little spoon. I love the fact that you're serving shrimp on a scallop plate. Ah, yes, and that's intentional. <laughs> the bread basket is next. So okay. Now, now bread. we need a bread, yes. Bread. Now, I want to say, Scott, too, I really like to mix in different elements so it's not all white and flat and uh, here comes that willow basket. Nora places a napkin in the basket and we're good to go. Now for the salad. So a green salad, I really love these really big bowls. Um, they're wide, they're flared, they've got a lot of look and it's just a nice, um, a nice serving piece perfect size. A gravy boat is used for the salad dressing and then salt and pepper are added to the table. Nora then comes out with more Easter eggs in this beautiful French egg caddy. I want to say another important thing with the buffet too is height. Height. So not everything's flat. You should have fun with it and it looks really beautiful and I think it also makes the food look very appetizing. I just need a napkin. Oh I got that. 
Look at these napkins that hold the utensils. Nora irons them first, then folds them. And I fold it so it's not exactly, so one, one ruffle is shorter than the other ruffle. Okay, so you don't match them up exactly. Do not. And then I turn it over and I lay it down on the ribbon. I put my utensils in and I cinch it like you're cinching a belt around your waist. See what I just did? I went whoop. And I take my ribbon. And that's it. Isn't and that pretty? All I would do to finish it off is probably snip them at an angle. And there you have it. It's a lot of look for such a simple napkin. It is. It's a beautiful. Nora places an amazing basket of flowers in the center and our table is set. And I wanted to bring a spring garden into the center of the buffet. And what I have too is I have some smaller baskets and these can be your gifts for your guests and you can also pop them in to the buffet. Just anywhere there's room. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty, it's beautiful, and it's very, very functional, which mm -hmm. I love. All right, where do we go for more inspirational ideas? NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. All right, happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Yeah, we're gonna be learning how to make that beautiful centerpiece coming up on another show on Better Connecticut next week, so stay tuned for that. For more stunning home decor ideas and inspiration, be sure to visit Nora's blog at NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. And you'll also find her home collection with new items for spring and Easter.